What if we do one Milky Radius? Let's see. Jesus, here we go again. Wait, the Milky Way is this big? Like, we're still in. Look at that. That is the world's biggest steering wheel. Space. Today, we are going to answer one simple question. Who is truly better, PewDiePie or T-Series? I know, technically, T-Series has won the battle, but I do not think they have won the war. So we have made it out to space to finally put an end to this and see who the better YouTuber is. Can you even call T-Series a YouTuber? Who the better YouTube channel is. So yes, we're going to uh, obviously play with space today. And uh, I thought we'd start off with the old uh, meme that's probably dead by now, the PewDiePie versus T-Series. Now I've noticed, there's about a million white dwarf stars in, the, in between these guys, so this must be the subscribers battling against each other to see who the better one is. And all these are Sirius Bs and HR1244s. I have no idea what's gonna happen when we hit play here. Let's slow it down a little bit and let it happen. <laughs> Okay, I thought, I thought we'd go to battle for at least a little bit, but no. There is the YouTube cloud. Look at all those little children. <laughs> I think this kind of shows you, you know, we can have all the wars we want, but we're all together regardless in this whole YouTube bubble that is YouTube? You know what, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but yes, the whole T-Series versus PewDiePie war still goes on, because I have no idea who won there. I thought there would be a victor, but clearly not. And moving on, we're just gonna have a nuclear war and a serious one at that because it is December 12th, 2045. So hopefully you're not still alive. I mean, to be fair, I hope you kind of are, but this is gonna be a really bad day for you. The world has developed far more powerful nukes anyone could have imagined. Did I read that right? These nukes are 10 times more powerful than the SAR bomb. One nuke can take out large amounts of land. Who will win this war? Well, only way to find out is by watching it, so I, I don't think any of us is going to win, to be fair. And already, they are hitting the ground. Look at this. It is global domination right now. Oh, that is beautiful. I have dearly missed Universe's Sandbox is just visuals. There's nothing better than this. And would you look at that? Those are some Earth chunks going out to space. The old, the old Earth fragments, as you can see. Lots of them, very big sizes. Now, will Earth be okay? after the fall of all these nukes. It looks like, amazingly, like I thought the world would have cracked in half or something crazy like that. It looks like we kind of survived it. I mean, I don't think there's gonna be anyone alive on Earth, but Earth survived it at least. So let's just speed up time here and see what we're working with once this settles a little bit. So goodbye, fragments, see you later. And Earth is looking pretty good, actually. Whoa, whoa, slow down, slow down, Earth. Slow down, what the hell has happened to Earth? All the water is gone. Yes, there is almost no water or gas or plasma, 0.0226% now. It is all pretty much a big iron ball. As you can see, we have iron and, sorry, silicate as well. So, yeah. I'm, I don't know if that was just a severe amount of time that went by and like, Earth's water evaporated for some reason, or was that because of the nukes? I'm not totally sure, but water is indeed gone from Earth after that nuclear war. I- Whoa! What did I just do? Oh god. Okay. It- I have no idea what I'm doing. I am definitely not an astronomer here. I have no idea what I just did, but I added a crap load of water, and that's what happened. Okay, now Earth has turned into a black hole. What the- Okay, you know what, that, that's just too- Whoa! Jesus! Okay, this is kind of fun. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's fun. Oh, there's an explode button? Of course we're gonna explode it, too. Goodbye, Earth! All right, are you prepared to see the most beautiful planet ever? This planet may look like any other normal planet in the dark, but when the light comes up, the atmosphere shines up different shades of blue and green. If you use this planet, your own creations, yada, yada, yada. Thank you for letting me use this. Wow, that's actually- Okay, I'm, I'm not even gonna front. That is very beautiful because it's such a different color uh, than the atmosphere. We got this, you know, this poop-colored brown, which looks nice with the blue-green tinge around it. Let's add another beautiful planet around this. We're going to add good old Earth here. There we go. Look at that. 
We're na 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 now we're casting a shadow on it, too. That looks really cool, and I think these things are probably not going to orbit each other. Okay, never mind. It can actually rotate around it. Now, will the gravitational force pull it in, though, over time? Oh, no, it looks like, yeah, we're going to have a binary ro rotation here. This could definitely end badly. Just give it a little bit. Oh, oh. Yeah, you know what? I think we are in officially a good orbit here because it looks... Oh, oh, never mind. I spoke too soon, and now... What, do you guys just not like each other? What the hell? Come back! All right, let's see these beautiful planets make a baby. Come on. Just need one good baby here. Come on, we can do it. Don't, don't do your full rotation again. It looks like we are a little too close this time. I think these planets... Oh, going for a collision course right now, I think. Maybe? Oh, dude, you just missed it. Oh, they scratched each other a little bit, and now it's snowing everywhere. Earth is heated up. Yes, as you can see, Earth has lost all its water once again, and I'm trying to get a view here. Oh, my God, they are just so close together, but they don't want to hit each other. Oh, Okay, we're, we're, we're getting into fire mode here. What is going on? <laughs> oh, God. There's just... I think there's just so much heat produced by these things being so close together. Both planets... Well, actually, this planet seems to be doing okay. Obviously, Earth has taken the majority of the damage here. We are just... I, it's so frustrating because we are so close to impacting each other, but it just won't do it, man. Earth's turning into a freaking sun. Oh, oh, and we just ignited it as well. So now we are two molten balls that look exactly the same. Oh, come on. Just crash into each other. Let's do five Earths. That should pull in this guy. It's a very heavy little planet. And there we go. That's all I wanted. It took forever to get there. And by the time it did, these planets were definitely not Earth anymore. So uh, we had to edit them quite a bit. But there we go. So this is just a solar system of Saturns going around a star called Formal Hot. Um, yeah. Don't know why, but it's actually very beautiful. If we speed up time here, you can see it's definitely in full orbit as well. So that's cool. Now let's try and destroy this a little bit. So we are going to add, throw this down. Ooh, we can actually get it to rotate around the other one. What if we do it around the outside of the rings here? It does look like, yeah, they're definitely moving a bit. And it wasn't like that before, I don't think. Oh yeah, we got some shooting off, as you can see. So small changes, mind you, I added a whole sun. That's not really a small change. But it's just really cool to see what exactly happens when you do small changes in games like this. And oh my god, it just, it just shot all the Saturns out. It just shot everything everywhere. Okay. You know what? Now now I want to throw a, a black hole in this and see what happens. All right. How does 10 million suns sound? 10, 10 million. You know what? Let's do 10,000 suns because I want, in black hole terms, a small black hole. So we're going to try and rip it upwards, I think. We, we can have black holes orbiting black holes if we want to. That, that sounds fun. But not fun enough. This should be enough to destroy this whole thing, I'm thinking. So here we go. And it is moving. We're just going at minutes a second right now. Oh, my God. Look at it, though. It's eating the Saturns. Oh, dude. Can we get over there and watch this happen? So, yes. This is what happens when you add a black hole. Oh, it's so cool. And he's obviously... Ah, there it is. I don't know if you can see that, but that is definitely a black hole there. Moving and destroying this whole system of Saturns. Do we have anything left? I see one Saturn that went out the opposite way for some reason. Yeah, you can see some shot out. You know, I mean, you know what happened? Yeah, it actually just goes into the black hole and then shoots outward everywhere, as you can see. So you remember Planet X? There was a little bit of a scare in the early 2000s that there was some secret planet in our solar system that was going to crash into Earth. Well, somebody made it in this game, and uh, this is Planet X. NASA has issued a planetary collision, and no one will survive. This is the end of the world. With this theory, uh, this is what's going to happen when Planet X finally reaches the orbit of Earth here. So it's supposed to be way out beyond Pluto and everything. I don't know. I, I, I looked into it a little bit when I was a kid with my, old, my whole tinfoil hat era. Uh, but yeah, obviously, it's probably not real. Coming in for the collision, I was really hoping we could see the this side of planet X, but obviously when this ignites, we should get some light in here and be able to see what happens. So it's gonna be a very, ooh. Oh, oh, it just lagged. Holy crap. Oh God, I hope this isn't real because that is horrifying. What is that? Just a giant fragment. Uh, how's Earth doing over here? Well, you 
They kind of look a little flat Earth. Actually, it looks like Earth has formed into Planet X, and now we have Earth X, I, I guess you could call it. It's churning, and there we go. It has finally cooled down, and it's gone. What the hell? All right, and let's see what happens when two solar systems collide into each other. So we got this one over here, which really isn't a solar system, more of a collection of random exploding uh, planets. It looks like mostly our solar system planets. So we're going to see what happens when this destroyed system, as you can see in the distance here, collides in with this system. And this should be an impressive display of just randomness. We got Mercury flying away already. I'm not sure if this system was unstable as well, or if the gravitational pull of all these things coming in uh, was enough to actually push Mercury out of orbit, as you can clearly see. What else went out of orbit? We got something over here. Oh, see you later, Venus. All right, it's all good, man. Well, we're not even colliding yet, and bad things are happening, as you can clearly see. All right, so let's, uh, we're at months a second right now. Let's maybe speed it up a little bit. Jupiter, Saturn, do I see Earth in there at all? I don't know. I, I see Mars. Earth's probably in there somewhere. We got bigger problems to deal with, though. My god, maybe I should turn off those things, but it's actually kind of cool to see how close they are. I don't think it's going to be enough to destroy all the orbits, though. I think there's too many things in here to destroy everything, but less and less things are orbiting, as you can see. This is just... Oh my god, there's so many lines here. You know what? I'm going to turn that off for a second here. All right. Those trails actually do help a lot, though. But the sun is now moving, as you can see. It's getting pulled towards, I think, this other system here. Let's see what happens here. We're going to go crazy and see where this sun is going. So it looks like it's trying to go to the other sun on the other system, obviously. The gravitational pull is just too strong. All right, well, that was fun. Look, look, look at all the stuff that happened in literally seconds in this game. There's just too much to commentate on. There's too much happening, but uh, yes, always fun when solar systems hit each other. All right, and here's a solar system you all should know. It's our solar system. So yes, this is probably the most basic model of our solar system. Uh, and I wanted to try something here. We have, Jesus Christ, that's bright. I mean, it should be, it's the sun. But we have the sun here, but what happens? Let's pause time here. Uh, we're also going to drop this down because this is going way too fast. I want to see what happens when we turn the sun and then in place of that object, we are going to add a Tesla Roadster. Why? Because I think Elon Musk is the, the god of the universe right now, so I feel like our solar system should revolve around a Tesla Roadster. Now, we obviously gotta make this thing a little bit bigger, though. It's, it's, it doesn't have the gravitational pull it needs, so we're gonna try and make a Tesla Roadster as close to the sun as possible, basically. So conveniently, we can actually choose sun and then have the mass exactly one sun, so as long as this doesn't change. Wow. Okay, that got really, really big. <laughs> oh, God, look at it. Look at the size of the Tesla Roadster. I really wish there was some light here so I could see it, but I got rid of the sun, unfortunately. <laughs> now, the radius is actually 3.26 su suns to keep the mass at one sun, so I think we're going to keep the radius that. Uh, so it's obviously much bigger than the sun just because the mass of the sun is much higher than a Tesla Roadster. I mean, it might work. I don't think it will, though. I didn't place that perfectly, as you can see, so uh, we're going to have some issues here, I think. But they're still rotating. The Tesla is moving, though. As you can see, the Tesla is moving. It's got gravitational pull, though, because Mercury just got pulled around here. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Oh, God, Tesla just got hit. Oh, it didn't seem to phase it too much, though. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I don't think we can revolve around a Tesla Roadster. Uh, it, it might take a little bit of fine-tuning. Maybe it could happen. Let's zoom out here. Are they trying to keep up with it? We got some things. I think these are going to go off orbit here. We're going to zoom way out. Oops, that was zooming way in. And there we go. We're speeding it up, and the big white line's the Tesla Roadster. So yeah, our whole solar system has been absolutely destroyed by a freaking Tesla Roadster, of all things. Isn't it great? Well, we have a Milky Way bar, too. You know what? Let's make it one Milky. Good old one Milky, man. Um, oh my god. Oh god. Oh god, we're we're in the Tesla. The whole the whole Milky Way is in the Tesla. Okay, maybe what if we do one Milky radius? Let's see. Jesus, here we go again. Wait, the Milky Way is this big? Like we're still in. Look at that. 
That is the world's biggest steering wheel. Not, not even the world's biggest, the universe's biggest steering wheel here. I'm trying to zoom out to experience the whole Tesla. So there's our Milky Way. And it's, oh sorry, there's our Tesla Roadster, which is the size of a Milky Way. Okay, let's let's drop that down though. Um, we're, we're, we're gonna go back to one Milky Mass. And there we go, back down. Did I eat everything? Because I don't see any of the other planets now. Oh, never mind, they're there. They're not really that big, though. Oh my god, this is stupid. This is so stupid. All right, what if I, what if I just up the density like crazy? Uh, I don't know what any of these things are, so we're just gonna make it over 9,000. Oh, okay, there we go. That's good. 9,000, and we are going to drop the mass down. This is this is too big. We're just gonna drop it down to one sun again. I've 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 lost my my Tesla Roadster. No, I didn't want to go to plop. Cup. There we go. Where, 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 where's my Tesla at? Oh, God. Is it totally off? All right. Well, now we know, guys. Uh, yeah, Tesla Roadster will not work as a sun. At, le at least not with me leading the task here. Maybe, just maybe, for someone who knows more about, uh, you know, solar systems and whatnot, you actually might be able to mi mimic this thing into a sun. But uh, I tried, and uh, it was a complete failure, as you can clearly see by our beautiful uh, solar system right now with one thing or orbiting. I think it's literally just one. All right, guys, so now I'm alone in space, and I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Universe Sandbox. Just having some simple fun, not taking this game too seriously, obviously. Now, if you guys have any suggestions on what you would like to see, though, maybe we'll do a couple more of these. This game, it's been out forever now, but it seriously is one of my favorite games, just because you can do whatever the hell you want. You don't really gotta take anything too seriously, and yeah. It's fun playing with space physics. So yeah, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching and liking. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.